good morning this is Josh and I'm reading in the Bible and the Quran and boy there's a lot been going on in our world hasn't there I hope you're able to grab some coffee um, and just relax and listen for a minute I have found um, when there's a lot of noise in my life one of the best things I can do is just read the scriptures and especially the words of Jesus they're so pure and beautiful and comforting what an amazing person let's take a look I wanted to read through the Gospels again I wanted to start with John maybe one of my favorite books in the entire Bible John chapter 1 also I'm reading from the Holy Aramaic Scriptures, uh, the Peshitta. This is the spoken language of Jesus. Aramaic would have been the spoken language of the Middle East um, for about a thousand years bef uh, before and leading up to the time of Christ. Of course, you have Greek, which was uh, also kind of like the business language of the area due to the spread of Greek language and culture uh, through Alexander the Great and his empire. Um, and then you have the Romans which are around and occupying uh, the land of Palestine and much of the Middle East during the life of Christ. So Latin is, is quite is quite prevalent and common but Aramaic was uh, the language that Jesus spoke and used with his disciples and I like reading from the the Aramaic I like reading from the Greek and the Hebrew of the Old Testament is also these are all uh, helpful when you're just trying to get the meaning from words. I love doing word studies. It's fun to see, uh, kind of dive into the depths of the meaning of words and then looking at the background and the culture and the places. Uh, it's such a beautiful journey. Let's begin from the Peshitta or the Aramaic, chapter one of John. In the beginning, there was the Milta, the Word, and he, the Milta, the Word, was with Allah, God, and Allah, God, himself, was the Milta, the Word. Probably one of the uh, most direct statements about who Jesus is in the entire Bible. Verse 2. This one was existing in the beginning with Allah, God. All came to, to be by his hand, by his power, and without him not even one thing came to be, which was come to be. The Heye, the life existed in him, and the Heye, the life, is the Nura, the light of the sons of men. And he, the Nura, the light, shines into the Keshuka, the darkness, and the Keshuka, the darkness, hasn't overtaken it. And there was a son of man who was sent from Allah, God, named Yohanan, John. This one came for a witness so that he might testify concerning the Nura, the light, so that every person might believe through his hand by means of him. He wasn't the Nura, Nura, the light, but rather that he might testify concerning the Nura, the light. For there was the Nura Shrara, 
the light of the truth, that which illuminates every person who comes into the Alma, the world. He was in the Alma, the world, and the Alma, the world, existed by his hand, by his power, and the Alma, the world, didn't know him. He came unto his own, and his own didn't receive him. But those who have received him, he has given Sholtana, power unto them, so that they may become the sons of Allah, God, unto those who are believing in his name. Those who neither from blood nor from the desire of the flesh and neither from the will of the of a gabra, a man, but rather were begotten from Allah, God. And the Miltha, the Word, became flesh, human being, and pitched his tent, literally tabernacled, sheltered among us. And we saw his glory, glory as of the only begotten, literally the unique one who is from Abba, the Father, who is full of Tebuta, grace, and Kushta, truth. Yohannan John testified concerning him and cried out and said, This is that one whom I said would come after me, for he was before me because he is older than me. And from his fullness we have all received, and Tebutha, grace, for Tebutha, grace. Because the Namusa, the law, was given through Mushe, Moses, but Sharara, truth, and Tebutha, grace, came to be through Ishu Meshicha, the Yeshua, the Anointed One. No Nash man has ever seen Allah, God, the only begotten, literally the unique one, Allah, God. He who is in the bosom of his Father, he has declared him. And this is the testimony of Yohanan, John, when the Yehudei, the Judeans, Jews, from Jerusalem, Jerusalem, sent Hanne, priests, and Luei, Levites, so that they might ask him, Who are you? And he confessed and didn't deny it, and he admitted, I'm not Meshicha, the Anointed One, and they asked him again, What is it? What is it? What is it then? Are you Elijah? Elijah? And he said, No. Are you the Nabiya, the prophet? And he said, No. And they said unto him, And who are you? So that we might give an answer unto those who have sent us. What do you say concerning your soul? He said, I'm the voice who cries out in the desert. Make straight the way of Maria, the Lord Yahweh. How that Ishaya, Nabiya, Isaiah the prophet has said. Now those who were sent were from the Frishe, the Pharisees. And they asked him and said unto him, Why therefore do you immerse, baptize, if you are not the Meshicha? the Anointed One, and not Elijah, Elijah, and not the Nabiya, the Prophet. Yohannan John answered and said unto them, I am immersing, baptizing in water among you, but that one raised up for, for you, you don't know. This is he who comes after me, and he was before me. I am not loosened the straps of his sandals. These things happened in Beth Anya, Bethany, at the crossing of the Yurnan, 
the Jordan, where Yohanan John was immersing, baptizing. And the day which followed, Yohanan John saw Ishu, Yeshua, who was coming toward him. And he said, Look, the Imred Alaha, the Lamb of God, the one who takes away the sin of the Alma, the world. This is the one about whom I said that after me comes a Gabra, a man, and he existed before me because he is older than me. And I didn't know him except that he should be known unto Israel, Israel. Because of this I have come, so that I might immerse, baptize with water. <clears throat> and Yohanan John testified and said, I saw the Rucha, the Spirit, descending from the Shmaya, the heavens, as a Yauna, a dove, and it remained upon him. And I didn't know him, except that he who has sent me, so that I should immerse, baptize with Maya, water, he said unto me, that the one whom you see, that the Rucha, the Spirit, descends and remains upon him, he will immerse, baptize, with the Rucha Kadsha, the spirit of holiness. And I saw and have testified that this one is the son of Allah, God. And another day, Yohannan, John, and two from his Talmide disciples were standing. And he looked out, and he looked at Ishu, Yeshua, while he walked, and he said, Look! the Imrad Alaha, the Lamb of God. And his two Talmide disciples heard it when he spoke, and they went after, followed Ishu Yeshua. And Ishu Yeshua turned around and saw those who were coming after him, and he said unto them, What do you seek? They said unto him, Rabban, our master, where are you staying? And he said unto them, Come and see. Then they came, and they saw where he stayed, and were with him, and were with him that day, and they were there about ten hours. Wow. Now one from them who had heard from Yohanan, John, and went after followed Ishu Yeshua was Andreas, Andrew, the brother of Shimeon, Simeon. This one first saw Shimeon, Simeon, his brother, and said unto him, We have found Meshicha, the Anointed One. And he brought him unto Ishu Yeshua, and Ishu Yeshua looked at him and said, You are Shimeon, Brad Yauna, Simeon the son of Jonah, you will be called Kepha, the rock. And another day, Ishu Yeshua wanted to depart unto Galila, Galilee, and he found Philippus, Philip, and said unto him, Come after, follow me. Now Philippus, Philip, was from Bethsaida. Bethsaida, literally the place of fishermen, from the city of Andreas, Andrew, and of Shimeon, Simeon. And Philippos, Philip, found Nathanael, and said unto him, That one concerning whom Moshe, Moses, wrote in the Namusa, the law, and the Nabiye, the prophets, we have found that he is Ishu Bar Yusuf, Yeshua, the son of Joseph, who is from Nazareth, Nazareth. Nathanael said unto him, Is something found that is good from Nazareth, Nazareth? Philippus, Philip, said unto him, 
come and you will see. And Ishu Yeshua saw Nathanael while coming toward him, and he said concerning him, Look, a true son of Israel, Israel, in whom is no guile. Nathanael said unto him, From where do you know me? Ishu Yeshua said unto him, Before Philippus, Philip, called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered and said unto him, Rabbi, Rabbi, my master, you are the son of Allah, God, you are the Melchad Israel, the king of Israel. Ishu Yeshua said unto him, Concerning that which I said unto you, that I saw you under the fig tree, you believe? You will see that which is greater than these. He said unto him, Amin, Amin, truly, truly, I say unto you, that from now on you will see the Shmaya, the heavens which are opened, and the Malachid Alaha. Malachi Allah, the heavenly messengers of God, while ascending and descending unto the Son of Man. And on the third day there was a mesh tutha, a wedding feast, in Katne, Cana, a city of Gal Galila, Galilee, and the Emad Ishu, the mother of Yeshua was there. And he, Ishu Yeshua, and his disciples, his students, were also called unto the Meshtutha, the wedding feast. And Hamra, wine, was lacking. And his mother said unto Ishu Yeshua, There isn't Hamra, wine, for them. Oh, wow, I got so excited I read right into chapter 2. All right, we'll stop there for now. Wasn't that beautiful?